It is a great pleasure to be with you all today. Can I just start by acknowledging the traditional owners of the land in which we meet and pay my respects to their elders past and present. Um, many thanks also for the long distinguished guests here today, but can I do a very warm welcome to all of our guests who have made the long journey to Melbourne. So the Victorian Government is delighted to continue our cooperation with the Chen Kong Business School and this event really encourages greater collaboration between Victoria and Australia and China's business sectors. Today's forum, as Tim mentioned, it's a who's who of the Australia-China relationship and we are so fortunate to have business leaders and leaders across the academic and government spheres. Of course, there are many facets to the Australia-China relationship worthy of discussion today, and I will probably be a little bit biased um, and talk a little bit about the Victoria relationship with China. So we are very proud to be the leading state. Uh, as Tim mentioned, we run five offices across China with 20 staff, and Tim Dillon, as many of you know, does a fantastic job leading that team. So based in Shanghai and covering Beijing, Nanjing, Chengdu, and of course, Hong Kong. The Premier, who we will hear from shortly through a video message, has just returned from the Belt and Road Forum and, again, the only state or territory leader to attend this event and really signalling the deep and strong connections between our two people. Shortly, our Governor, the Honourable uh, Linda Dessau, together with uh, the Minister for Jobs, Innovation, Trade, Minister for Sport, Tourism, Major Events and Racing, will lead a delegation of approximately 30 businesses focused on sport, wellness, and showcasing the very best of Victoria. We're very proud of the, the relationship that we have with China, and this has been built over many decades. And just as the Premier returned last weekend, he celebrated the 40 years of our sister state relationship with Jiangsu province. We are also very fortunate that this relationship goes beyond just trade and transactions, but it's very much built on genuine connections and an interest in our mutual prosperity. And to uh, continue the exciting relationship, in 2016, we also entered a sister state relationship with Sichuan province. So I'm sure this will continue to be an ex exciting chapter in our relationship. At Global Victoria, we maintain a very close relationship with the Victorian and Chinese business communities and work in close partnership with organisations such as the Australia China Business Council, represented here today, and Auschan back in China. And of course, we work hand in glove with our business delegations heading into China to ensure that we represent the diversity and the vibrant business community here. An initiative close to my heart, with, uh, which Mr Joe just mentioned, was the all-female trade delegation to head into China last year. This is really around encouraging more women entrepreneurs to kind of connect, share their stories and do business together. And I very much thank the Graduate School for their support in this. It's through these genuine partnerships, including today's event, that we can take steps forward with our positive relationship. So it would be remiss of me not to mention the amazing trade relationship we have with China, and I can say it continues to blossom. Our trade is now valued at $26.7 billion, and it's one that's built on so many complementarities. E-commerce also continues to provide an exciting opportunity for our businesses, and Maggie and your team here at Alibaba, thank you for choosing Victoria, and we are very uh, fortunate to be working closer together. Thank you. <laughs> Would it, be, would it be too late if I jumped on here now? Let's do it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> if only every time I could, I could be at this height. Um, so once again, um, it's great to, to have Maggie here today. And, and Alibaba presents amazing opportunities, not only for our Victorian businesses to reach millions of new consumers, but for Chinese consumers to also uh, be able to um, experience our amazing uh, products as well. So finally, again, um, we've partnered today with a world-class institution, the Chong Kong Business School. Um, it would be, again, remiss of me not to mention that Victoria also shares a world-class education system with world-leading universities and of, and, of course, some of the best universities and innovative technical sector in the country. Importantly, um, we are so fortunate that so many Chinese students pick Melbourne as their home when they choose to study. 
We have 88,000 Chinese students, and I'm taking that's a lucky number, because they have definitely uh, added so much to our city, to our culture, to our mindset, and I thank them for choosing Melbourne um, and for enriching us all. Um, it is these people that will become the future leaders of the relationship, and uh, we thank them again. So as you can see, there's so much to talk about when it comes to our relationship, but um, there are many other people here to uh, have a chat to today. So again, thank you for coming and making the long journey, and I wish you all a very prosperous uh, event today. Thank you.